guys work here. Welcome back to the bench. So today we've got the last couple of modifications to the SP01 before this year's USPSA competition startup. Now what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be installing the yellow 11 pound recoil spring from Cajun Gunworks and the lanyard loopless hammer spring plug. Now I'll explain this when we get there why we're doing this. But first let's go ahead and replace the recoil spring since it is the easiest. Let's go ahead and break this thing down since we're going to have to take the grips off and we're going to have to take the slide off. So first things first let's go ahead and pull the slide. Set that aside for now. Now we need to pull the grips. Get out a screwdriver, undo both the grip screws. Sit those to the side. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be pulling the old hammer spring plug and putting the new one in. Now the reason that we're doing this is when inserting a flush fitting magazine into one of these, you're pushing really hard here and that lanyard loop sticks out. So there's a high likelihood that you're gonna slam that lanyard loop right into the palm of your hand. So that's the biggest reason to do this modification. The second reason is these things are kind of ugly and stupid looking. So let's go ahead and pull that out and replace it. First thing that we're gonna need is a punch to use this guy here and a hard surface to press against because what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to compress the hammer spring slightly. Now, make sure that your hammer is in the down position. If it's in the cocked back position, you're gonna be placing a lot of pressure on this spring and it's gonna make this job even harder, if not impossible. So as I press down, I'm gonna push my pin out then I'm gonna slowly relieve the pressure. All right, pin is out and pressure is now released for the most part, because I forgot this thing. So let's go ahead and set the hammer spring pin aside, slightly compress that again. Go ahead and pull our magazine spring out and that should release everything that we need to pull out. So we're gonna set the lanyard loop one aside. Let's grab our new one. So it's gonna go in. Let's make sure that our spring is around our hammer strut. And with that there, we can recompress. We're gonna do the opposite of what we just did. We're going to recompress the hammer spring. We're gonna put the mag spring back in and then we're gonna put the pin back in. So let's go ahead and push down, trying to make sure that our new plug is level. So as we push down, we got our magazine catch spring locked up and in there. And with it fully seated, we should be able to get this pin in there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now our lanyard loop is back in and you can see what it's done is it's removed that entire loop assembly at the bottom. So now we can go ahead and set our block aside. Let's put our grip panels back on. Now I get a lot of questions about these grip panels. These grip panels are from Cool Hands. You can find them on Amazon. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below to those. They look great. They're very similar to VZ and they're considerably cheaper at right around $55. Okay, so we've got our lower finish up. Now let's go ahead and switch to the slide. So on the slide, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be pulling the barrel out and replacing our stock recoil spring with an 11 pound recoil spring from Cajun Gunworks. Now the reason that we're doing this is the stock recoil spring is set up for pretty stout loads. I don't shoot pretty stout loads. I shoot factory ammo at the hottest. So what the lighter recoil spring will do is it's not going to shut the slide nearly as hard. It's gonna give us a much more linear rear and then forward momentum and the slide should shut right as I come back onto target rather than shutting early and flinging the front of my pistol down. So to do this we are simply going to push forward on our guide rod and compress the stock spring, pull back to release and pull the stock spring off. Now you will notice that the stock spring is slightly shorter than our lightweight recoil spring here. That is correct. That is how it's supposed to be. So let's go ahead and put our new recoil spring on our guide rod slide that back into our slide, compress our recoil spring and replace the guide rod down here on the barrel knuckle. Now you'll notice as well that our new spring is kind of wobbly in here. That is also correct. It should be a little bit on the wobbly side in there. So now that that's installed, we can go ahead and reassemble the gun. Slide the slide back on, line up our hash marks, toss in our lock pin, and with that, we are all finished. The SP-01 is ready to go for this year's USPSA with no lanyard loop. That way you get clean magazine insertion and a reduced power recoil spring that is actually noticeable when you're simply racking the slide. So that's it for this time, guys. Just the last couple of modifications to our SP-01 before we get it out into competition. Keep an eye out because that's coming up soon. The first competition is coming up here this next month. Remember, guys, if you appreciated the video or found it useful, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. Go ahead and hit the notification button right around here to be notified of when my next videos come out. Remember, I appreciate every one of you. And until next time, do your research, get informed, and get to work.